All right, I took one package of our better cheddar sausages. I next have one pint of our Lagunitas IPA that I'm popping right into our little pan here on medium heat. And we're gonna let that go for a couple of minutes while those soak. All right, while our broths are soaking, I have just our crescent rolls rolled out onto our grease little cookie sheet here. I'm just using one pack. I'm coming in with this yummy sharp cheddar that's gonna pair so beautifully with our cheddar better broths. And I'm just going with a little scoop on the biggest portion of our crescent rolls. And it's okay if they get on the pan. We love a ooey gooey, cheesy little appetizer. And you can feel free to kind of switch up the cheese here, but with the better cheddar broths, I just thought that sharp cheddar would pair so beautifully. All right, perfect. All right, we're gonna place our crescent rolls to the side. I have our lovely marinated brats, and I'm just gonna go right down the middle and cut them in half before placing them into our crescent rolls. Oh my gosh, that beer smells super, super yummy, and we are ready to place them right into our crescent rolls. I'm just gonna take that one half and place it right onto our cheese, very gently, just kind of tucking it in, and we're gonna continue to do that with the rest of our crescent rolls. Right, our last one, beautiful. All right, now what we're going to do, we want to be gentle and we're gonna to begin to roll these little puppies right on up. Our brats in a blanket are looking beautiful. It's okay if they kind of poke out and that cheese is gonna be nice and melted and oozing out. That is exactly what we want. And just a gentle little roll. And look at how darling those are, little bite size, elevated pigs in a blanket. All right, and we have our last one. And you can feel free, I use the, the brats, you could also do a hot dog, but I feel like with the brats for Super Bowl is the way to go. All right, beautiful. All right, I have one egg that we are going to be using to kind of brown up our crescent rolls. We're just gonna give this a nice little whisk, just like so, because we want those to crisp up really, really nicely. All right, and I'm just gonna do a light dusting onto our crescent rolls. And I'm using just one egg. You can totally feel free to skip this because I know those crescent rolls do get nice and crispy, but I like them brown and toasty. Beautiful. Little goes a long way with your egg wash as well. So just a touch. Ooh, yummy. All right, but we are not finished yet. I have my favorite part of this recipe. I'm coming in with some Asiago Everything Bagel. I love using this seasoning for sweet, for savory, and I'm just doing a touch on each of our crescent rolls. It's gonna add a lovely texture to this little bite-sized Super Bowl appetizer. And it also just looks really nice too. Ooh. All right, beautiful. We are going to pop this into our oven for about 15, 20 minutes at 350. Action. All right, our brats in a blanket are done and look at how amazing these turned out. Our crescent rolls are nice and crispy. We have our yummy little seasoning on top. Our cheese is melted. I am ready to plate these up. I have just like a little serving tray here and I'm just gonna start popping those right on to our little plate. Oh my gosh, they smell so yummy and are gonna be perfect for our Super Bowl party. I'm gonna leave a little section right in the middle so that we can pop in our dipping sauce because what is a broth without some yummy little stone ground Dijon mustard? So I'm gonna come in with just a little baby ramekin and pop that right into the middle. You can always do like a ketchup or an aioli but for me, I love a good stone ground mustard. We're just gonna pop that right into the middle. Ooh, yummy. And then I'm gonna just top it off with just a little bit of our parsley, just to add a little bit of greenery for when our guests arrive for our little game day. Ooh, you know, a little elevation, elevated touch. Ooh, yummy. All right, we are ready to enjoy.